Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be giving you my nine week VSG update. So I know y'all are gonna want me to jump right into my stats, so here we go. Two pounds, I lost two more pounds this past week and I'm super excited and happy with that. That gave me a grand total of 40 pounds. 40 flipping pounds, you guys. I am so stoked. I am so beyond happy and super proud of myself. Um, so before my VSG surgery, you know, my surgeon's like set, set a goal, set a three month goal, a six month goal, you know, goals. And so I'm like, okay, cool. And he said, make them sound crazy. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna say 50 pounds in three months and now that I'm 10 pounds away and I have until February 2nd to lose that 10 pounds I am feeling so juiced I'm so excited I'm totally gonna be able to do it um so I had my surgery in Mexico I'm I'm gonna try to just this is my second time filming this with my little baby so I'm gonna jump through the jump through the hoops real quick so 40 pounds down super excited this past week I talked to my um primary doctor here she's gonna be doing my labs for me soon for my three-month mark I'm hoping that I'm good on those your girl struggles with vitamins I do I struggle with vitamins I'm not gonna lie you ain't gotta lie to kick it I'm not gonna lie I suck um, I've been doing better this past week with vitamins I will say that um, yeah so I'm hoping that I'm doing good I've also been eating really clean good things for me this past week so lots of spinach and smoothies and I've been adding collagen to my smoothies, to my coffee, things like that. So I'm hoping that like my protein is getting up there this week. So I've done good on protein this week. Not exactly where I want it to be. I'm still a little like under what I want to be at with my protein, but I am getting a lot closer than I was and I'm feeling better. So that's a big thing. And then water, I'm doing really good on. Um, I've had like maybe two days where I wasn't doing as good as I was hoping, but enough where I know like I'm hydrated and stuff. So um, I'm definitely happy about that, that I'm finally like really focusing on my water and stuff. Um, I've been trying to keep track of my activity a little bit more, but activity is something that I have been struggling with this whole time. I'm a couch potato and I'm realizing that 100% and with the cold weather, I shouldn't say I'm always a couch potato. It's when the weather's cold, I don't wanna go outside and I'll walk around my house, but it's just not enough. Um, so I invested this week and I got myself a stationary bike. It's not here yet, it should be here, I think like by next week. So I'm hoping that once that comes, I'm gonna try to get on it 30 minutes a day at first um, I might have to split it up into two 15 minute sessions. I don't know yet, but my ultimate goal is to be able to get on the bike for an hour um, and really just up my cardio and just do better. Do better with my activity level. Um, I do stretch, I meditate. <laughs> my little baby's playing with his brother. Um, I do stretch, I meditate, I do deep breathing exercises, um, I dance around with my kids. So it's, when I'm saying like activity level is low, for what I'm hoping. I, I'm hoping to get back into like a gym at whenever Rona decides to go away. Um, all of our gyms are still closed, I think. Anyways, I don't wanna invest in a membership right now. We're trying to do an at-home gym. Um, we have weights and stuff. It's just so stinking cold. So I'm hoping the bike is gonna help me with that um, and just increase my activity level even more. And um, yeah, so something else that happened this week is my period came five days late and I got really scared, you guys. I got so nervous. Even though the pregnancy tests were negative, I was like, what is going on? Like, I've heard that like with VSG and stuff, you can get your period like earlier or more often. Not late. I haven't heard that one. So I was like, scared I'm not on any form of birth control we do use protection but that's not always you know guaranteed so I like your girl's freaking out so now I'm gonna track my ovulation a little bit closer to make sure we aren't doing the hanky panky time around that even if it is with protection the dog every time I film the dog has to go out it's like it's a thing go ahead 
ahead, Kira. Turn on the light for you. Um, yeah, so that was scary. I'm glad that I'm not pregnant. I am totally open to having more children. Just for right now, I want to lose weight. I want to feel good, and we can talk about it later. <laughs> but right now, no. I am focusing on me and my health, and I think my little dog wants to go out now. Do you want to go outside? Um, yeah, so I just really thankful that I'm not pregnant. <laughs> That's scary. Um, let's see. Oh, um, I finally made some habit trackers. So if you need a ha or a habit tracker, a weight loss tracker, if you need one, let me know. Um, preferably on Instagram is what I use the most. Um, you can message me over there and at journey underscore of underscore Katie C A D Y is how you spell my name. Um, let me know if you want one. If you want a customizable one, I'm totally open to doing it. I don't know when I'll get it to you, but I can do it. Um, I can do a year long one. I can do week by week if you want. Um, just whatever. And if you give me an idea of things you like, like the one that I made for this next set of weeks for me was a pineapple. So if that's something you like, pineapples, sunflowers, rainbows, butterflies, whatever, let me know and I can make you one. Um, they're free of charge. Um, everyone tells me that I should probably start charging for them, but in all honesty, like I feel like we are a community and um, helping each other. Like I'm, what's well, a dollar or two? You know, like that's what everybody charges for them is like two to five dollars. And to me, I'm not gonna do that to you girls. Like, y'all support me by watching my channel and things like that. So, yeah, if you want one for free, free, I'm not gonna, not charging. Let me know, and I can even do customizable ones. Um, I'm gonna wrap this up though because my kids are going crazy and it's gonna get loud. Because I have four sons. <laughs> Anyways, this last week has been a good one. I'm hoping that week 10 is good to me, and I'm hoping, I mean, Aunt Flo's here, so if I don't lose a ton of weight, I'm cool with it. I did eat like a Lindor's chocolate thing today because I just wanted to. And I am really big on not depriving myself um, as long as I'm mod like being mindful and in moderation. I do watch my carbs though, and my sugar, obviously. But it's one thing, it's fine. I did great today. I've eaten string cheese and fruit and vegetables, so we're good. Um, anyways, I will hopefully be getting more videos up soon. I say this in every video, and I'm very sorry for those of you that look forward to more than one video a week from me, but I can at least commit to one video, and I'm hoping um, to do more. You can also follow me on TikTok, too. Um, I think it's Katie Mill 7 on TikTok. I do post over there, too, and I do, like, meals and food and all that so if you want to see more of what I'm eating head over there um, and IG is a good one too so anyways I hope you guys are having a wonderful blessed week and I will catch up with you guys for week 10